Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky has thanked Muslim soldiers for their efforts defending the country since the Russian invasion. At a Ramadan iftar dinner outside of Kyiv, Zelensky handed out medals and vowed to liberate Crimea, annexed by Russia in 2014, and home to a Muslim ethnic minority. Breaking fast with the president. For the first time, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky hosted an iftar marking the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. His guests, Muslim clergy, diplomats representing Muslim-majority countries, and Muslim members of the armed forces. Zelensky used the opportunity to recognize their contribution to the war effort. Diversity, enshrined in respect, is part of the character of independent Ukraine. May this character always strengthen our nation and guide it to good deeds. Ukraine is grateful to the Muslims of our country and the entire Muslim community of the world who, like us, strive for peace and resist evil. Muslims account for 1% of the predominantly Orthodox Christian nation. In Crimea, which was illegally annexed by Russia in 2014, Muslims make up 12% of the population. There's also a significant Muslim community in the eastern Donbass region. The conflict, spanning almost a decade, has displaced many of Ukraine's Muslims. We will not forget that it was with the occupation of our Crimea, that it was with the repression of Ukrainians, Crimean Tatars and Crimean Muslims that Russia's attempt to enslave Ukraine and other peoples of civilized Europe began. For Ukrainian Muslim servicemen and women, faith and the holy month only add to their resolve. I believe that no matter how difficult conditions are, we do everything for the sake of God Almighty. When I save wounded soldiers, it is the greatest reward for me. The Quran says that when you save one life, you save thousands of lives. During the event, Zelensky also awarded medals to Muslim soldiers who've been defending Ukraine since the outbreak of the conflict in 2014.